I'd like to show you how to add worksheets to the iPad using an app called SnapType Pro. So to use SnapType Pro, you open up the app and you'll get a blank page that looks like this. Some of the worksheets that you've previously worked on um, will be listed on this page. And what we'd like to do is add a new document to the app. And we're gonna add it this time from the library because I've already taken a picture of the worksheet. But you can choose your camera if you wanna take a picture of the worksheet that you have in front of you. But we're gonna to go to the library, to my camera roll, and then I'm gonna add the worksheet that I have. I'm gonna call this something that I'm going to remember it by. So I'm gonna put homework, but it's helpful if you add the date. And then once we've done that, our worksheet comes up, is listed on the fir first page. And then there's two things that you can do to add print to this worksheet. You can either use your stylus and write on it. So we can do that right now. There's my stylus. And we can write right on top of the worksheet. It does also allow you to change the color if you'd like to choose another color for writing. Or another thing that you can do is type on the worksheet. And to do that, you just touch and hold and a text box will pop up and your keyboard will pop up at the bottom and allow you to type anything in it that you'd like. Okay, and then you can also resize that to be able to fit a little better into the text box. And if you'd like to do another text box, it's just touch and hold. And then you can type in your answer. Okay. And then in order to save this, you go back up to the top and you can send it to a few different places. You can save it as, save it as an image or a PDF or a snap type document. I like to save it as a PDF because then a teacher can open it up in their email using um, whatever they have that reads PDFs on their, on their computer. So save it as a PDF. And then right from there, you could email it to your teacher. So the mailbox pops up and you can type in the teacher's email address and the subject of the homework and then your teacher is going to get your completed worksheet and they can print it out or save it for themselves. So that's how we can use Snap Type Pro to be able to complete worksheets.